Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the Institute. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is come this way, hang a left. We got to make our way over to the CIT runes. We're going to go into our pit boy we're going to go over to our radio and we're going to turn on the coarser signal so real quick before we go any further everybody is going to need a biometric scanner and a military grade circuit board and that's going to be for building stuff for us to teleport into the institute in just a little bit now, the good thing about where we're going is on the turrets, after you kill them, you can uh, get both of those items. They drop pretty frequently. What I like to do is do a quick save right before I go into the building and then um, make sure that I get both of the parts before uh, completing that mission. For that quest. Let's crouch for just a second. Got some Meyer lurks over here. Be really careful, there's some raiders all over here. If you don't want to fight them, just veer off to the left, like I'm doing. Or you can go fight them for some experience. Right here is the green tech genetics. Let's go ahead and turn off our radio, our coarser signal. We don't need it anymore. We're going to make our way to the top. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on site. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. Right over there is a turret. What? And then once you get close enough over here, this shutter's going to open up with another turret. <laughs> What's going on down there? How many are we dealing with? So we didn't get anything there. Let's check this turret. Right here we got a biometric scanner. Mm. <coughs> the courser is now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. What? Right here, we're going to grab our last Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Excellent. Barricades, stairwells, and hallways, if you haven't already. Be really careful, there's a guy with a rocket launcher up here. 
Disarm these cryo mines. Did not get the military grade circuit board just yet. We've lost contact with sectors two and four. Take him out. Just making sure there's no more gunners over here. crazy we'll check this over here and there we go military grade circuit board that easy now if you don't get either one of them you can still get them by just doing the quest that it that um, it asks you to do and it'll just send you in some random locations to get the biometric scanner and the military grade circuit board let's just stand up Here's the last turret. Another military grade circuit board. Now, if you gave Mama Murphy a bunch of the Kims, then you will be able to do the reset code for this courser. If you didn't, you're gonna have to kill it. And the easiest way to kill the courser is to aim for its head and save up a critical shot. I don't know the path Cause they do turn invisible. I'm gonna use the reset code. Are you here for the synth? Z247 initialized factory reset. Authorization code Zeta 53 Kilo. How did you? Deserve to die. I know you're not here for me, but I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. I promise not to hurt you. I guess I don't really have a choice. 
Do I? The guard put the password in a toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. So we're gonna come over here. Grab the password. And then we're gonna open up the door. Use the terminal to open the door. We're gonna turn on the elevator, even though I'm not gonna use it. And then we're gonna open up the security door. Hey there. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K-198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Now let's go ahead and go up here. Like I said, we're not gonna take the elevator down. I'm gonna go into this terminal and we're gonna go through this door let's go into our pit boy we're gonna go over to our map and then we're gonna go over to the railroad and give them this courser chip Carrington wants to talk with you sounds important I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Oh, hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. <laughs> We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't don't, don't crash. Glad you signed on. Together. Memory hiccup. Means I might get to take the occasional night Encryption off. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Soft way in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, does. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. We got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things. Let's go ahead and go over to Virgil and give him the courser chip really dangerous wasn't sure i'd see you again you managed to get what you need i have the code suppose i shouldn't be surprised 
You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can if you make it in there. You find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Let's go ahead and take some Radex real quick before we exit out of here. And then we're going to head to Sanctuary. We're going to go over to Sanctuary and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Preston Garvey and then I'm going to build the whole thing so that we can teleport. I'll see everybody over there. What do you need, General? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Oh, looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation? This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it, but it's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. 
I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there, while you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. There's no sport to spend. I'm ready when you are. Lucky for us, the Commonwealth provides. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh... Yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. So you got a ride of choice. Welcome to the Institute, everybody. First thing we're going to do is load that hollow tape into this computer. Want to put in the network scanner. And then we'll eject it. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal 
personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, 
members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. 
You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Let's go ahead and go up the stairs here. We're gonna go through this door. We're gonna go up top to grab oh, our last astoundingly awesome tales magazine. We're gonna go it's through this door. To have you here, sir. Through another door. And then right here is the last astoundingly awesome tales. Hell yeah. This one's pretty good. Your canine companion permanently takes 10% less damage. So dog meat will take less damage. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. We're going to go to the bioscience or the bio labs. I was right the first time. Bioscience. We're gonna go inside here. Have you had time to examine We're gonna hang a left. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. We're gonna go inside this terminal and hack it. That's so we could deactivate this grid here. Let's go inside. We're going to listen to a couple of hollow tapes and then we're going to grab that experimental serum. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of subjects. But as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board, exposure to too much radiation. We need something, someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Personal record. 
Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Let's go ahead and grab the experimental serum for Virgil. And then we're going to exit out of here. We're all looking forward to working with you. All right. For anybody that wants to do the Institute storyline, be sure not to do this or else you're going to break that quest line. But this is the turning point on where if you're wanting to go down the Institute quest line, you, you don't want to do this. I'm going to get vilified by killing um, some synths, but I want to make sure that this elevator is here before I do that. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. All right, let's get in this <laughs> elevator. Please come out. You must be terminated. Lower limb actuator damaged. Your destruction is inevitable. Sustaining damage. Whoa, that is a I bunch of sense. More than usual. Arm damaged. Attack efficiency decreased. I cannot allow these attacks to continue. Holy moly. <laughs> Go ahead and heal ourselves and then we're going to head out of here. Let's go ahead and go over to Virgil. Protect and serve. Virgil? Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it! That's really it! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works.
He's being a bit buggy, but he'll get there. Protect and serve. Right. Here we go. Uh, uh, no. We wait. It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Let's go ahead and exit out of here, and then we're going to head to Sanctuary and end the video. I'll see everybody over there. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.